and also is a special day that the Pope has called for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So today at noon there will be special prayers for the consecration of Russia and Ukraine, the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We pray for all the parishioners of St. Philip and James. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Come before the Lord, asking for his mercy and forgiveness. Asking that he may help us not to be rebellious, but to be obedient to him. Send you the corner of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your faith. Lord God, the heavenly King, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only the Lord and Sister. Lord God, the Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. You take away the sins of the world. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, and the sinners. You are the one and the only one. You are the one and the only one. You are the one and the most high, Jesus Christ. In the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, Amen. Let us pray. God who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray, and we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, the men to become partakers, even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be as deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to worry people? Must you also worry my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name, shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not. But ears open to obedience you gave me, holocaust or sin, flock, or sin offering you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips 
as you, O Lord, know. Hear my God, O Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I come, Lord. I come to hear your word. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when, child, child, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire but a body you prepare for me. In holocaust and sin offering, you took no delight. Then I said, and it is written of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he said, sacrifices and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings. You neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. And he said, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second, but this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel, uh, gospel acclamation. The Lord to you, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Glory, Glory to you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory. Glory, Glory to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. Lord be with you. From the Holy Gospel according to The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth. The virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. And he, he will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will come, will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since you have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month, for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. We to the Lord Jesus The solemnity of the Annunciation of, uh, our, of, of the Lord to Mary is a, sol is a great feast in the church. It is the time that humanity is being released from sin. The chains of sin have been broken by the obedience of Mary to God to accept to be the mother of Jesus with no conditions. 
just giving her consent. Yes, here I am, Lord, I'll come to do your will, and I'll do your will. That's what was insisted on in the first reading and the second reading. Behold, I come to do your will, says, O oh God. And man, by nature, is rebellious in his heart. We don't want to obey him so much. So, why are we making so big a deal about this consecration, consecration of Russia and Ukraine to Our Lady? Why are we making, why is the church making such a big deal about it? Is that obedience? Obedience to the heavenly call. Obedience to God who calls us to do things that are impossible so that sometimes we find they are not so convenient. You see, when you look at it from the point of view of Peter, Peter was told, take your nets and throw them now and you'll get a big catch. Peter would have said, I'm a fisherman. I know better than you, Jesus. Forget it. I'm not going to do this. No. He said, I'll bear. He obeyed, he put it there, and he got a good catch. You see, when Noah was told, build an ark, Everybody else was laughing at him. He would have said, what am I doing this for? They were laughing at him. What am I doing? For what? Are you obeyed God and he says, I'm going to be and he built it. And he saved so many. The obedience in our own lives is, a, following the, is like following the path of God. Is a call to know that I can subject my own will to the will of the one who created me. That's what we hear in Mary today in this story. And she gives us the son who is going to be the king of the universe. But at that time, in her own nature as a human being, she would have said, why am I doing this? For what? I don't need it. Take somebody else. No, she obeyed. So let us look, let us sit back and say, what, what, what areas and what times am I disobedient? Disobedient to the one who calls me to life, who gives me life, who gives me all that I need in my life and all that I am in my life. What are those times that I'm disobedient? What are those times that I like to just do my own things and do them the way I want to do them, but not for the good of the community or the society or my own family? I'm just doing my own thing. That's it. That's what I like doing. That's it. Let us look at those moments and ask the Lord for forgiveness today. And let us also obediently get to prayer. Today at noon, and join the Archbishop Cardinal Dolan and the Pope and all the bishops and all the church, the whole church, to consecrate Russia and Ukraine to God in obedience to God. And God, who talked to Lucia in 1917, may give us a path out of these wars that we fight all the time.
It has offered to God our petitions for today. For the church, may the Holy Spirit protect and guide us in our mission to proclaim the truth of salvation to all the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For government, for government leaders, may the Lord open their hearts to work tirelessly in protecting the dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, especially Father Stephen Masinde's mother, and all the sick, may the healing consolation of Christ be upon them and make them whole. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our community of faith, St. Philip and James, may God help us to trust always in his saving power. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have died, may they experience the mercy of God and enjoy the fullness of life within him in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Let us open our personal petitions to the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Heavenly Father, hear our prayers that we bring to you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Dear sisters and brothers, as my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, Almighty God. 
child to accept your church offering so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries in this solemnity. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to the right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for the Virgin Mary heard it with the faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate wounds that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of the nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the house of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices we pray join with us in one chorus of resilient praise as we are clean. Holy, Send it on your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you all the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving things that you have held as worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. Breaking of the body and the blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out to the fullness of charity, together with the Francis Apple, the Timothy Dolan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. And with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse. Blessed apostles and all the saints who have lived you throughout the ages, we merit to be quiet to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through heaven. And with him and in him of God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now let us pray together. The prayer that Jesus told us as we say, our
greater sri grand peace in our days by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace shall be with you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the peace of Christ. Peace with you now.
Come in our minds the mysteries of the true faith. We pray, O oh Lord, so that confessing that it, he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is through God and through man, we may through the saving power of his resurrection Mary to attain eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 is ended it as going peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Have a good day, everyone. Amen.